Welcome back to the Barley Lads. I'm Zane. And I'm Bryce. And today we're going to drink 12 different Irish or Irish style beers in honor of St. Patrick's Day or Patty. St. Patty's Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have three different ales and then nine different stouts to, to get through. Um, that we're excited to get through, I should say. I don't want to be saying yeah. that. Way. Oh, it's such a chore. It is, it is definitely going to be exciting. So do you want to start with the ales or the stouts first? Let's hit the ales. All right, so the first one is uh, Conway's Irish Ale, right? Correct. We're, uh, we're big fans of Great Lakes around here. So the Oktoberfest uh, videos and the Christmas videos, we did a, a Great Lakes beer as well, so yeah. So, and um, in one of our shorts, we mentioned that this, this beer is named after uh, Conway, which is one of the grandfathers of one, one of the founders, founders of yeah. Great Lakes. And he was, a, I believe, a Cleveland cop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I think the picture of him, the yeah. rendition of him. So it doesn't say anything about what type of beer other than it just says Irish ale, but given the color and after we cracked open the other two, I'm pretty sure this is a red ale to go along with the other ones. So. Yeah. For me, it's got a hint of sweetness, um, not very bitter, a little bit malty, but certainly not like a stout. Malty and sweet for sure. Not a, not a lot of hops. Um, I actually like it more than the last time I had it. Yeah, I really so, like Conway's. I get it every year. Very good. All right, I'll All be right. drinking them from the back cups. Maybe the back. All right. So next, we're moving on to the Smittix Red Ale. So Smittix. Uh, um, this is brewed in, or at least it used to be brewed in Kilkenny, uh, Ireland. Um, I did the tour in Kilkenny when I was out in Ireland three and a half years ago with my wife, Megan, and we really enjoyed it. It's a super cool experience, um, and they have three different beers on tap there. Um, this is the only Smittix I've ever had in, in the States, though. So Smittix, um, it's like, it's not seasonal, though. They have it on tap year round. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and they have a they have a cream ale, this, and I think they do have a stout if I remember correctly, but I'm okay. not positive. Okay. I think they also make the cream the Kill Kenny cream ale or cream stout. I don't remember. But actually I had that in, in Covington, Kentucky once. It was the only place I've ever had it. But it was a, it was a nitro. Had it. Yeah, it was okay. a nitro I think it was a nitro cream ale. Super good. The nitro ales are becoming more and more popular. I just like, excuse me, I like everything on nitro, personally. It's just super smooth and just very pleasant to drink. Yep. So. Very smooth mouthfeel. Creamy <laughs> mouthfeel. <laughs> um, all right, comparing this to, to Conway's. Actually, I think I like the Conway's better. Yeah, Conway's is sweeter than this. This is definitely drier Yeah. on the taste. This is also being shipped in from Ireland, whereas... Conway's is brewed two miles or two miles, two hours from here, so that could be part of the difference. So you think there's like a freshness aspect potentially? Potentially, yeah. So it's very good. All right, all right. Next is the Killian's Irish Red. Yes, George Killian. Um, this started off as a brewery in Ireland in the 1850s, I think. Um, but it closed down in the 1950s and they were purchased by Heineken. So um, This is actually a Heineken brand. I don't know where this is Actually, no, we do know. Yeah, we do. I think it's Golden, Colorado. Yes. Yeah, so it's under license by Miller Coors uh, To be brewed here in the US. That's that's what it was, but it's a Heineken brand and they actually brew it I think in France for the European market okay. or so, somewhere in Europe uh, so they actually own the brand, but it's under license to sell in the U.S. with Miller Coors. I read all of this after we did the short. So, the so Coors <laughs> brews it. Yes. They buy the license from yes. Heineken. Yes. Okay, and Heineken bought it from, from the Irish from the family. Original George Killian family. family. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Six degrees of separation. <laughs> Killian's is a classic for me. It's. One of those beers you can find it year round yeah but it's smooth but i always i always get a six pack around uh the st patty's day timing just because I, 
You know, it's a good beer. When we were in college, I actually bought this a lot. Like this yeah. was in our fridge quite frequently. Um, this this was like the craft beer for me because we used to drink drink Bud and, and Natty. So yeah. Killian's was craft craft beer for me. <laughs> yeah, for uh, college level income and budget. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get a get yourself some Killian's. You're having a good weekend. <laughs> That's, it's 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 a solid beer. Um, not as bitter as the first two, um, or maybe it's not as carbonated. Something. Yeah, it's smoother. Yeah. Um, they definitely know what they're doing. It's been around a while. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so the next one, um, I haven't changed my opinion on this one. This is um, the cream, Irish cream stout. Who, who's it by? I can't remember. Um, it's Southern Tier, right? Southern Tier, yeah. So this yeah, is out Southern of, tier. Um, I believe, Chicago. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, this one, when we tried it, when we shot the short, it was... It tasted like Irish cream ale, or sorry, Bailey's. To like, me, yeah. Yeah. After you said that, I kind of agreed with you, but I really like Bailey's. I'm not a huge fan of it. To me, this tastes like, um, what's the pop? Like it's, It tastes like a cream soda to me. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't like even the, taste like beer. Like a legitimate cream soda. Yes. This like is, the A&W cream soda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, root beer without the flavor. <laughs> Take this, dump it in your root beer. There's an idea. <laughs> this could make a good uh, uh, beer float. All right. All right. So Time now, for a classic. It is a classic, but we're transitioning from the ales, right? To well, that was a stout. That's, oh, sorry. That's that a weird stout. Stout. Yeah. I was thinking it's an ale in my mind for some reason, but now we're going to the stouts, yes. the Irish stouts, right? Yeah, and then we get uh, so we have four regular, what you would or just a normal. Uh, nitro Irish stout or Irish style stout um, and then we get increasingly more I guess intense or flavorful yeah so why are the the stouts or the Irish style stouts so popular why are stouts so popular in Ireland <sighs> um, well porter style was a big technically stouts are porters Okay. So it's a, it's a subset of a porter, okay. which is just a dark, a darker ale. Uh, there are only two types of beers. There are only ales and lagers. Uh, most of, the, most of the, the cheap beers that are on the market are, are lagers. Okay. Your, your Budweiser, your, your Miller, I, I'm pretty sure those are all lagers. And um, those are brewed, uh, not brewed, they're aged or fermented cold. So, okay, 50-ish degrees, 55 degrees. Uh, ales are uh, fermented at a higher temperature, usually 65 to 75 degrees. High, the higher the temperature, uh, the more likely uh, you're going to get some like fruitier flavors, I okay. guess. So yeah. IPAs are always, uh, t or typically I should say, um, brewed, or sorry, fermented, I keep saying that, uh, at a higher temperature. Okay. And that's how you're going to get those, those fruitier IPAs. Um, but yeah, so why is it so popular? Ah. Uh, it's been around since 17, what is it, 1759? Um, so Guinness that. started off as a porter. Um, that was the main style. Um, they didn't introduce uh, the nitrogenated cask until they had metal casks. Before that, everything was in, in wood still. Um, so I don't think this was nitrogenated until 1960-ish. Uh, and it was actually uh, one of the Guinness... Uh, I'm just going to call him a scientist, I don't know, uh, research guy who actually figured out how to nitrogenate the beer, and that's how it became so popular, because it's, it, I think, because it was a novelty, also Guinness has been around forever, and it, it's just a damn good beer. So, nitrogenated as opposed to CO2, right? yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So, technically, they're both carbonate, well, no, carbon, yeah, never mind, yeah, you're right, nitrogenated is different. Yeah. But yeah, so they're both... Both though, you're pumping in um, some sort of gas to give it the bubbles. Yep. Nitro stouts have smaller bubbles, which is why it has a thicker, creamier head as opposed to your your normal CO2. Yep. So, very good stuff. Uh, yeah, out of a can, not the, not the best, but compared to the other canned stouts, pretty darn good. 
It's still a Guinness, man. It is. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah, especially when COVID happened. That was my, my go-to can of, of beer because I couldn't go to a, a bar or a like, pub or I've a restaurant. House for how long now? I don't yeah. even remember. <laughs> and the, be the best part about this, this time of year is, well, one, they have, you know, these extra ones that aren't, these are seasonally released from other companies, but Guinness, you go to Costco, you get an 18-pack okay. as opposed to a four or eight-pack from you know, other places. So I have an 18-pack sitting at home that I'll probably end up drinking throughout the, the month or probably into the summer at this point. So 18-pack? 18 18-pack. 18 Either the month or the summer. That's uh, a big range. <laughs> well, it depends on how thirsty I get. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Whoops, we didn't introduce yeah. this one. This is... Breckenridge. Uh, yeah. Nitro Irish Stout. So, um, I mentioned this in the short, if you saw it, but this just doesn't have the head retention. Um, you always want more head. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have the head retention of, like, the Murphys or the, or the Guinness, because they both have... Um, well, they still have beer in them, but they have widgets in them that actually hold the, the nitro nitrogen in it whereas this doesn't have anything on it too it just stays like it floats to the top and so okay. you have to kind of shake it which is actually what we had to do for this one but anyway moving on yeah good it's good a little roasty i still prefer the guinness definitely all right the murphy's this is also brewed in Ireland. Murphy's has been around since 1817, 1856. Uh, so this is brewed in Cork. Um, it's also the same place that Beamish Irish Stout is brewed. Uh, we don't have that because they don't produce it in the U.S. anymore, or okay. they don't ship it to the U.S. anymore. Okay. You can only get it in Ireland. And I found it in a pub in Ireland, and I fell in love with Beamish. And I didn't know until I got home that I couldn't buy it. Otherwise, I would have bought because they also sell them in like the four pack of cans. Okay. Like Guinness and Murphy's. So you have bought a suitcase. I would, oh yeah, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know until I got home that I couldn't get it here. So, but anyway, Beamish, you have my heart. Beamish. You, okay, so Murphy's is related to Beamish. Sorry, no, they're just brewed in the that. same town. It's brewed in the same town. Yeah. Okay. So these are both from the Rebel County, Cork. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so this is Murphy's. Um, so I think it's slightly roastier than, than Guinness. It's out of a can. I think it's just as good. Do you, um, do you pick up like uh, I don't know floral, like some floral notes coming through? Maybe I don't know. No, not maybe something in there. Yeah. Something different. Because do they have? Are they brewed with hops? They yeah, have all hops. beer have hops. Pretty so, much. I, I, I don't. So I don't all these the beers beer. have hops. It's just like the level is is different. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, I pr I appreciate that. Like Conway, it says twenty five IBU, which is I don't remember what IBU stands for, but U is unit. I think isn't <laughs> but, it international bitterness unit? Ooh, I think you're right. I think that's right. Nice job, Bryce looked it up before i think i don't know if i don't know what the i is i'm pretty sure but b is bitterness i think you're right yeah, yeah. okay which makes sense because the higher ibu the higher bitterness i mean you can get um ipas in the 70s or higher like crazy yeah. crazy high bitterness we keep forgetting to introduce these so this is yeah. the luck Irish stout from ryan guys which is down in cincy um Still good, still creamy. Um, I'm gonna get some nutty flavors through it. Yeah, it is, you, it is, is a little a, different. Is this a seasonal one? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I've never seen it. Actually, good luck. I think it's true to the dry. It's not very sweet. Yeah, it's definitely dry. Yeah, and it says right there you have to shake shake it. Yeah. So very if you watch the short of this. Uh, well, I didn't show the shake, but I shook it real, real hard, um, which is what it says. And then you're supposed to flip it up over the the uh, glass and pour it vertically, which I have seen uh, left hand makes a, a nitro okay. milk stout. Where which they I'm, you probably have that. I think left hand is Wisconsin. Okay. I know I've seen them around. I've had a quite a few left hand yeah. brewing. Yeah. Uh, probably because I'm a lefty. 
<laughs> but no, they, they make really good beer. Um, mm -hmm. Left hand, uh, and that's a good nitro stout. But it's a it's a milk stout. So, so with a milk stout, if you see a milk stout, what is the difference between milk stout? Milk stout, stout is brewed product. with lactose, which okay. is a type of sugar, like okay. sucrose, fructose, lactose. It's um, the type of sugar that you find in milk, I believe. No. Um, what so, like, like, if you're lactose intolerant, you don't can't drink, drink milk. milk. Right. Don't drink lac beer brewed with lactose. Gotta have another swig. Yeah, go. <laughs> no. All right. Now oh, we're moving into, into a heavier, heavier beer. So, those are all lower um, ABV. Four to five percent typically. I think Guinness is like 4.1, 4.2. Luck is 4.8, so typically lower. Uh, now we're into Guinness Extra Stout, and it's 5.6. Yeah. So, I think I've been like egging to try this one just because of the can. It's a big can. <laughs> one pint, 3.2 fluid ounces. So it's actually 19.2. So we did the short on this, but we had a bottle of it. Yeah, and I made the mistake so, of only buying one, and then we did the shorts a week, two weeks ago. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, uh, I had, I had to, I had to go bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so, so extra stout refers to um, extra sugars, extra, I think, extra hopping as well to um, push the ABV. Um, because the more sugar you have in it at the beginning, the more yeast the yeast can eat, producing yeah. higher, more alcohol. Alcohol, yeah. So really, the ultimate goal is to get more alcohol into it, or does yes. it enhance the flavor? Or what's the? You probably just heard a dog squeaky toy. Yeah, dogs. <laughs> dogs are squeaking. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know fully. Uh, where the extra stout came from other than I, uh, it has more alcohol. It's really good. The next one that we'll talk about, the four extra, I know a little bit more about why it became the four and extra stout. Yeah. So you call it? Okay. Yeah, so that's the next one. So I'll explain a little bit more about why it has a higher ABV and that so one. You said this one was what? Five and a half? 5.6. 5 5.6. 5 6. I think this is a seven. Seven. Seven point five. All right. So four and extra stout. Um, this is um, brewed for the foreign market. It has the higher ABV, just like um, a lot of the IPAs. The whole reason behind uh, IPAs or, or India Pale Ales is because they were shipping beer to India. And from what I understand, um, the reason that they had to increase the hops in it was to make sure that it survived the trip so it didn't uh, get funky. The higher uh, the higher hops uh, was like a preservative as well as just higher alcohol content also yeah. makes it more of a preservative to make sure that it, it lasts the, the trip out overseas. I think that's where foreign extra stout came from, that idea. Or the foreign market just wanted higher ABVs because we like alcohol. So. <laughs> It's it's foreign with respect to Ireland, outside of Ireland. Outside That's foreign. Of Ireland. Okay. Yeah. They do sell this in Ireland, though. Okay. So. Definitely. And the, and the comments about the hops. So like hops act as preservative for all beer, and that's why that's one of the reasons why beer has hops, right? I believe so. Okay. But I don't I haven't read enough about like you know Germany like with their what, what is it Ryan Heights Gabat, whatever it is yeah. their their German beer purity laws. We need to do some some German beers. Well, we did Oktoberfest, but we can definitely do some more over the summer. Yeah. Get I know. My box like Oktoberfest in Germany. Sure. Synonymous. But we need to do like some traditional German beers. No, we can do that. I so, love uh, what is it? Wine, Wine Stefaner. Yeah, and then we have some. some we have some local places too. Yeah, we do. do the the German brewing style. I know Hofbrau House. That's a cop out. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> but we have a little place. I can't remember what. Like nineteen fourteen eighty seven. Yeah, we need to get some from there. And the name is from the. I think it's Reinheim or something like that. The Isn't rule. That? The law. Right. The law. The purity law. Whatever the name of that is, I think I'm saying it right. I've, maybe I'm thinking of a different word, but German and it's 
minimum 12 letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I like that one. That one's... Sw okay, so that's a four and extra stout. Mm -hmm. This is the extra stout. It almost has the same flavor. That is a little sweeter. It is. It's sweeter. Yeah. Um, which may be coming from the hops. So it might be a, just a more floral sweetness yeah. to it. Um, I do like it better. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. So, all right. So this oh, yeah. is this is this the, is the one. This one's funky. Uh, this is the mint chocolate stout from Guinness Open Gate Brewery. Uh, so this is brewed in Maryland, yeah. in Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Um, that brewery opened, I don't know, 2016, something like that. And so anytime that you drink anything labeled just Guinness. All of that is brewed in Ireland. None of that is brewed outside of Ireland. All right. They will send those those barrels around the world. So worldwide, everything labeled Guinness, yes, like only Guinness is yeah. Irish. Yes, it comes up from Ireland. Okay. But anything with like the Open Gate, or if you get uh, like the Blonde Ale, uh, which is actually pretty popular, yeah, those are brewed in Maryland. Um, I don't know about the extra stouts. I think those are brewed in Ireland as well, but I'm okay. not positive. I think we should do a uh, Guinness episode. Absolutely. I mean, it's every day. Close to a Guinness episode. I mean, it's, it's Irish, and <laughs> what I don't know what's more Irish than Guinness. Maybe Jameson? The color green? Jameson. Oh, yeah, speaking just... of green, <laughs> maybe we should, uh, if the green screen functions don't work out, yeah. This is our first shot, and we're going to have, if, if it doesn't work out, we'll have a green background. Yes, <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. Otherwise, welcome to whatever location we've decided we're in. So. <laughs> the green one. I can't believe we didn't. We haven't referenced that at any point. Till I know, right? We're it. just talking about it. This tastes to me like a Thin Mint cookie. Yeah. Oh, and it's I, also aged in bourbon barrel, so it's it's even a higher ABV. Uh, Ten so, point... 0.8. Yeah. So the dense. Dense. Aging in bourbon barrels, does that actually increase the ABV? Yeah, it, it does. does. Because there's still bourbon in the wood. Okay. But also, I think through the aging process that more of the water might soak into the wood than the alcohol in the beer. I'm not positive. I could be making that up. If you know, tell us in the comments. But I believe part it is because some of the bourbon is still in, the, in it and... When it's in the barrel, it's what 120 proof. Yeah. So that's certainly gonna increase it. So you have this what? It's like a 55 gallon barrel, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna have like some, like a millimeter of, like, alcohol soaked wood, and like this or stuff is deeper. like pulling yeah, it. or deeper. Usually, yeah. I'm just like thinking yeah. minimum. So you have all this like Don't 120 get too proof on it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my brain goes scientific sometimes. <laughs> Bryce is an engineer. Um, so yeah, only he, on the weekdays. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a, a lot of numbers running through his head. But yeah, this is uh, to me, it's really good. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like a thin mint, like yeah, alcoholic, it's so good. alcoholic thin mint. I mean, this is kind of in a category of its own with respect to all these other ones. It definitely is. Yeah. But if I had to pick one to drink, like if you had to pour me a pint right now, I'd pick that one. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to drink more than one though, because it is very sweet and it is very heavy. Very heavy, very heavy. But yeah, it's it's dessert. All right. Well, before we spend too much time on that one, what's our final? So this is the Land Grant uh, Make Mine Irish and Irish Coffee Stout, brewed with coffee beans and lactose. Uh, shout out to Stoffs, which is a pretty good. Uh, coffee place in Columbus. So only it's made in Columbus. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, Stoff's Whiskey Barrel Aged Coffee Beans and Lactose. So we're just talking about lactose to make... Wait, did you say barrel aged too? Or what? This is not barrel aged. The coffee beans were barrel aged, if I'm reading this. So it says brewed with Stoff's Whiskey Barrel Aged Coffee Beans. Okay. So this is not barrel aged, as far as I know. I understand. The coffee beans were barrel aged. Don't know where those barrels are from, but it doesn't matter. Uh, lactose. With lactose. And this is 8%? Yeah. yeah. So, heavy. Heavy beer. Um, definitely, you can definitely taste the, the coffee. Let me just say I spoke too soon. If you had to pour me a pie right now, I'd pick this one. Really? Yeah. 
Now I will say that this has sat here for a while and I actually like it a little warmer than I did. Um, so we did a couple of the shorts that we hadn't done before, we just did. And so these have sat here for probably 20 minutes. Yeah. I actually like it better, slightly, not warm, but closer to room temperature. Yeah, it's actually, like kind of more intense. smoother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, yeah, this is really, really good. Oh, yeah. It's sweet. It's almost like, uh, uh, I don't know. Not like a latte, because a latte is not very sweet. Really sweet. No. Um, it's like cold like brew. Like a, a cold brew or something you get at Starbucks, like a macchiato with yeah. some caramel going on. It, it reminds some sugar. me of uh, yeah. almost like Jameson cold brew, mm, where you would mix yeah. it with like, a, like Bailey's or something. Yeah. It always refers back to whiskey. <laughs> Bailey's from a shoe. <laughs> I'm old Greg. If you get that reference, please comment below. You nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, that concludes the 12 Irish beers of this episode. Yeah. You put that in fact. The 12 beers of St. Patrick's Day. Well, I know I already mentioned it. But the last one was my favorite. Are you gonna? What are you gonna pick? My go-to daily beer is always always gonna be Guinness. Uh, legitimately, is my favorite beer. I could drink Guinness in the middle of summer. I know people think I'm weird to do that, but I will drink Guinness out of a can at summer. Shit! Uh, ever... I just said it out loud. I have apologies if that offended you. <laughs> I have done uh, a beer bong of Guinness on the Fourth of July in this house <laughs> or I should say on his back porch so yes I have yeah. done that yeah I, I was very shocked I was like you're he's like yeah I'll do it and I was like all right well my choices were natty <laughs> or an IPA or Guinness I was like yeah give me the give me the Guinness yeah I will, I will absolutely sh <laughs> yeah so I beer bong a Guinness it was it was a classic so yeah I think you yeah. meant classy <laughs> classy yeah <laughs> all right Thank you again for watching another episode of The Barley Lads. Today has been an epic video about Irish whi uh, whiskey. Whoa. Yeah. Irish beer. Irish beer. Yeah. We do a lot so, of whiskey here, I guess. Sorry. If you made it this far, please uh, comment your favorite and smash that like button. Smash it. <laughs>